Hello, my name is Manfred and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make something that's very delicious that you can use uh, to watch the TV. You can make it for the friends coming over. You can do it just for yourself. This is called the deviled eggs or also called uh, stuffed eggs. To make this you need, uh, today we're going to use two hard boiled eggs. You can use more eggs of course if you're making more, but today for the demonstration we're going to use two hard boiled eggs. You need some mayonnaise, the mustard, the salt, the olives and lettuce to make the garnish look good and this is very exciting. Now the first thing we do every time we come in the kitchen is we wash the hands. A little bit of the soap, turn on the water. Oh, get the front, the back, right between the, hand, the fingers too. And if you've been working in the garden, like many of us who have the food, uh, you've got to clean the fingernails too. So that's already been done. And you don't want to get nothing on the rest of it here also when you got the wet hands. All right, the first thing we got to do, you got to get the shell. You see this? This is an egg with the shell. Many of you know that. If you're not sure, it comes with the shell on it. That doesn't come with the shell off, okay? So the first thing we do is a little bit of cracking, just like that. Now, a little trick. Roll it around between the hands like this. Whoa, between the palms. Oh, you feel, oh this is very much fun. I like that. <laughs> then you just take and carefully, so you don't rip the egg, take the shell off. You notice there? Very, very careful. This takes a little bit of time. You pull it hard. You're going to pull the egg apart. You're not going to get the deviled egg. You're going to get the messed up egg and you're going to have to do something else with it. Look at that. That's a perfect egg. Now you get the little shells on your fingers. You get it off. We're going to just rinse this one off too. That's so there's no shells on there. Now let's do the other one too. Mm, no, this is fun. Oh yeah. Oh no, I need to crack it a little more because I didn't crack it so much there. All right. Now we take the shell off very easy. You just feel around till you can get it. Use the thumb. See this? Watch this. See how easy that is? You kids can do this. You, you older grandpa, you can do that too. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, get this off. Oh, that's got it all. Now you got to check that there's none on your fingers because you get these in there and you get them in the mouth, you go, oh, it, uh, it doesn't uh, feel so good. You go crunch, crunch, crunch. And if you got the guest, they don't want to do that either. Now, the egg shells can be recycled. Or what's the other word I'm thinking of there? Composting. That's it. The, the camera girl had to tell me because sometimes, you know, you can't get every word right the first time. We're going to put this in the compost. I got the compost bucket here with the man freed. Put them in. Scrape off all... Maybe I ought to do it this way so you can see. See those little white things on there? You don't want to leave them there. You want to get them all off like that. Oh, that's good. Now, you got two egg. The first thing we got to do with the egg here, we got to cut it. Now, you don't cut it sideways, we cut it this way. I'm going to go get the knife, okay? I'll be right back. Don't go away. Uh, the, what the, I'm going to use this knife today, and this knife is called the, uh, uh, the, uh, um, uh, dang, the peeling knife or something. I don't remember. I was trying to see, but, oh, what the heck? You don't need to know. Now, we're going to cut the egg in half. Keep the fingers back. You'll get the fingers in there. You're going to get some red stuff you don't want on the egg. So, carefully cut the egg. Oh, look at that. Is that per There. Is that not perfect? Can you see that, camera girl? Oh yeah, she gave the good nod. There's two. Oh, look what I find. I find another piece of the shell. You don't want the shell in there. I tell you before, we're going to put the shell down here. There, you hear it fall. Let's do the other egg at the same time. Nice and easy. Oh, look at that. You got two eggs like that now. Now what are we going to do? We got the knife here. Now we need the spoon. I'm going to get the spoon now. I'm not going to get the big spoon. I'm going to find the small spoon. You notice here, you got the big spoon. You got the small spoon. We're going to use the small spoon today. Back in there it goes. Take this nice clean. Oh, there's nothing in there. No, that's good. Carefully take the yolk. The yolk is a yellow part. 
Okay, not the white part. You're going to keep the white part. You don't want to mess it up. Take that out. Oh, look at that. Just take that yoke out of there real easy. Don't mess it. This is a, there we are. Oh, nice and easy. Get it all out or as much as you can. Maybe you can't get, there's a little bit left in there, but that doesn't matter. Can you see that? It's got the hole in it now without that. We got to do this with all four of them. Oh, oh, that one came out so easy. Oh, that was excellent. Two. You kids counting with me? That's good. Three. And here's the other one, number four. Oh, that's excellent. Now, you've been using the knife. We take that off there. You've been using the knife. We're going to set it there. You've been using the spoon. We're going to come back to the spoon in a moment, but now we need a fork. Hang on, I'm going to get the fork. This is the fork with the tines. You guys all know that, but because this is the demonstration, I have to say it's the fork. So the first thing we're going to do, we're not going to crush the, the uh, yolk. You see the yolk in there? Yep. We're just going to cut it a little bit like that. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. This is not difficult. There. Oh, that, that's good. Now the, the fork is clean. I could get the spoon to get the mayonnaise. We're going to put some mayonnaise in there next. It's in the ramekin now. It comes in a jar, but you put it in this right now. Take some of the mayonnaise just like that. Can you see that? Put it in here. Oh, that's excellent. Just gently, gently mix the mayonnaise with the yolk. Can you see that camera girl? Is that good? Oh, she gave me the, the nice nod there. That's excellent. All right, we just wiped that off. Now, I don't want to contaminate the mustard because we're going to put a touch of mustard in here. I don't want to contaminate. I'm going to get another, another uh, fork, okay? Don't go away. I'm just back here getting the fork. You get the fork, you take the mustard, just a little bit like that for flavor. You do whatever flavor you want. Manfred like that amount there. Now mix it around very gently. Can you see that? Now you kids, you don't need to pick that up like this. Manfred is doing this for the, the demonstration. Oh, but you leave it down here. Look at that. That is perfect. Now, what do we do? We take the empty egg like this. You take some of the mixture. You just put it in the egg like, oh, now, you can put salt on this if you want. Manfred, he doesn't use so much salt because uh, there's lots of salt and stuff. But you could put a little salt on it if you want. Maybe I'll put it on the next two. These two I won't because I might be serving somebody who doesn't want any salt. Also, you put the black pepper on here. The black pepper is going to look like black spots on. Doesn't look so good. Okay, so don't, uh, I don't put no black pepper on it. There's one. Let's do another one. There's two. Oh, that's really good. Now, maybe Manfred put a little salt on the next two. I get the salt. That was good, wasn't it? Oh. Now, you mix it around just a little bit. You don't have to mix it too much. You take some more of the, the uh, ingredients. Oh, that's good. You can see when you, oh, I'm going to make this one nice and big. Can you see that, camera girl? Is that good, huh? Okay, we keep going uh, with this. We put another one there. Look, I'm putting it right on top of the lettuce. I'll show you afterwards. Look at this. Is that good or what? There we are. Right now we got four of the hard-boiled egg. Also call to make the deviled egg. Ah, today I got some olives. We're going to garnish. It's called garnish. We garnish it with the lettuce. We garnish it with the olive. I got four here, so I'm going to take four olives. I just happen to have five in here, so I got four olives. One, two, three, four. Manfred, wipe the hands. You always want some way to wipe the hands to make it clean. And now I'm going to demonstrate and show you. There are four. Oh, that almost fell off. That would be very funny on the video, but it, uh, luckily I catch that. There is four perfect deviled egg with the olives and the lettuce. 
This is very exciting. I am no chef, but Manfred can cook.